Hi, this is Trey Fast. Welcome to my review of Young Justice Season 3, Episodes 4 to 6. Okay, this review is going to have spoilers in it, so be forewarned. Okay, if we left off in Episode 3, uh, our three, uh, I guess, refugees are, you know, basically uh, kicked out of Markovia, and basically the uh, Young Justice members brought them back stateside. Okay, uh, uh, Prince, the Prince Markova. He was staying with Superboy and Miss Martian. Uh, Halo uh, stay with Artemis. And Dr. Jace is staying with Black Lightning. Okay, and this episode is most about them trying to you know, adjust to their new surroundings. And of course, everybody's looking uh, for uh, Dick Grayson, where he is. But he's actually uh, hanging out with the Harpers, uh, trying to uh, actually uh, get a favor from them. Uh, but before he gets that favor, he has to uh, fill in and help on a normal job. And so that's why this episode is called Private Security. The Harpers run a security firm, so he has to tag along with them. Okay, and of course they get attacked by an intergang, and they basically have to defend themselves. But basically this episode is mostly about Dick coming to grips with, uh, he, was, he thought this uh, mission with the metahumans, rescuing the metahumans from Markova was just a one-off thing. But he comes to find out that it really isn't. And he uh, comes to realize, <laughs> with the help from the Harpers, that he has to be engaged and he can't just do that one-off thing and, and walk away from the, t uh, from the team again. So he reluctantly, at the end, <laughs> uh, agrees that he has to stick, stick it out. And that's, you know, the, the gist of this episode. Okay, now, apparently, because I, you know, I read a little about the Harpers, I know about Rory Harper, uh, okay, and, but apparently there's a clone, uh, and another Harper in there that I had no idea about. So I'm not as familiar with those characters, but uh, they're, you know, they're a team <laughs> somewhat, okay? And like I said, their interactions with uh, Dick Grayson are extremely funny because they're arguing at the same time trying to stop these hijackers that are taking, you know, it's time to steal the stuff that they're guarding and stuff. And the banter between the, <laughs> between the characters is really, uh, really well done. And of course, then we also flash back to the uh, three refugees that are trying to adjust to being stateside and away from our phobia. And of course, the prince wants to get back and he wants to, you know, find his sister, his missing sister. And of course, uh, Halo is trying to find out exactly who she is because she doesn't really remember who she is. Okay. And Dr. Jace, you know, she feels guilty about what happened, about, you know, uh, exposing the metagene and the prince, but she felt she had to do that so he could battle his uncle. So that's, that's the basic gist of that episode. Now, the next episode, uh, uh, basically, they it, we open up on New Genesis, where we see the uh, the bugs, <laughs> the bugs, they're uh, making a deal. You see them making a deal with Prince Orion, who looks like Orion, okay? And of course, they give them some precious diamonds that he wanted them to mine for them. And then when it comes to giving them back what they promised to exchange with them, you know, they, you know, they actually don't do it. And actually they get attacked, uh, the bugs get attacked by these metahumans. We find out that uh, some of the metahumans that, you know, escaped from Markovia have been sold. Okay. And it looks like they've been sold to the new guys. But obviously this is not uh, Orion. This is, uh, you know, an imposter. Okay. And we have Bear who comes down to Earth to Happy Harbor where, where, Supergirl and Superboy, excuse me, and Miss Marshall live, and he, you know, he tells them, listen, I need a mission. I need to uh, help your help to to find out uh, who's impersonating, you know, Orion and, and trying to start a war between Orion and New Genesis and these and, and the bug people. So uh, Mar Miss Martian goes along, <laughs> and well, Superboy can't come, uh, but he uh, recruits, has Miss Martian go, she agrees to go. And she recruits, you know, some members. She recruits Wonder Girl, uh, 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 Blue Beetle, uh, uh, Static Shock, and I forgot the other girl that they recruit. Uh, and 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 uh, that kid Flash. Uh, I forgot the, the other Flash, the son, the grandson. I can't remember the, the character's name, but you know the kid Flash. Uh, just can't I can't remember the same in my life. But anyway, they recruit them to come to the planet. They boom to them there. Okay, and that's when they confront them. And then that's when Miss Martian finds out 
but the guy impersonating uh, Orion is uh, her little brother, who's actually using you know psychic to, to try to you know piss off the you know to get the bugs riled up so they can attack New Genesis. And basically, what he wants to do, like I said, get the, get the diamonds and stuff so he can go and go back to his planet because he's he's saying that listen, because of the way the green and red Martians are treating us white Martians, you know, I need I need this you know that material and stuff to to battle them. And Miss March said, well, this is not the way to do this. You're tricking these people. And he's trying to start a war and ferment them. War, so basically, you know, she has to fight her little brother and try to rescue the the other metahumans that are there, okay, and stop this war from developing, okay. And we have another creature uh, that uh, Rab not Forger, oh, who's you can tell he's 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 not, he doesn't believe that the new Genesis is uh, really trying to fight them, and he's trying to keep peace between the between his group of the bugs and the new and the real new Genesis. <laughs> But uh, at the end of it, after Miss Martian finally defeats her brother and and tries to rescue the metahumans, her brother goes nuts and and basically wipes out the metahumans and leaves. Okay, and then of course Forager gets kicked out of the rest of the bugs because the rest of the bugs don't trust, even though they've been explained that you know this guy was you know this is a white Martian manipulating you to try to start a war. Uh, they figure Forger has betrayed them too, so they don't want nothing with the humans, uh, eugenicists, or anybody. So they basically kick Forger out and they invite Forger to come back to Earth with them. Okay, and they take the bodies of the uh, of the meta humans that have been killed by Miss Marshall's little brother back back home. Okay, and that's the end of that episode. Now, episode three uh, opens up uh, with uh, we see. Uh, Dick and Barbara are, you know, are Oracle in this case, are cohabitating and living together. And we see they're, you know, they're obviously uh, living together and have that close re uh, relationship in this uh, iteration of, uh, of comics and or show. Anyway, and then we find out from uh, that the uh, Dick was doing a little investigation, he finds out that uh, that. Uh, the Prince Markova, his little sister Tara, who he's looking for, uh, is po quite possibly was taken by the League of Shadows. Okay, and, and of course, Razagu is head of the League of Shadows, and, and he wants to obviously go there and rescue his sister. Uh, but they tell him, listen, we, we can't just go there. You know, it's an island of assassins. We have to have a plan. Okay, so he tells him, listen, we can't just run off and do that. So he, he get, they get introduced to, you know, Forager, uh, gets introduced to Halo and, and the Prince. And you know, they, you know, they sort of bond a little bit, and then, of course, after he tells him that Dick tells him that you know you can't just run off and try to save your sister. We have to have a plan, and we don't even know if they really have your sister there at that island, okay? But again, he tells him, okay, he agrees to it. But then, of course, he, and this wouldn't be an episode if he didn't double back on it. And of course, he uh, basically lies and said, you know what, I'm going to rescue, I'm going to rescue my sister anyway. So he goes off with Halo and Forager. And uh, in Sphere, <laughs> to uh, to the Island of Assassins to rescue his who we, you know his sister who he thinks is there, okay. And of course, they immediately <laughs> uh, run into a, a disciple of Razagul, who they you know they battle, uh, to, and they eventually get taken down, okay. And then we see uh, Razagul who's there who's there observing everything, and then of course Dick and them find out that they <laughs> are three uh, refugees that run off, okay. So they have to go. To the uh, island of, uh, and island of assassins and try to uh, rescue them, and of course you know there's the back and forth in the battle and stuff. And then eventually Razago calls everything to a halt and tells them you know, and tells them, okay, listen, get you, you came here to rescue your friends. Okay, you have them now. Leave, okay. And then they they leave, and then we find out later Razago is looking at one of the assassins that were battling them, and he and he he cries, you know, he replies, just says one word, Grayson. Now I don't know if that's going to be Red Hood, Jason Todd character. It, it could be, I guess it could be, because I don't know. I don't think they introduced Jason Todd in this uh, universe yet, so that could be Jason Todd. You see this assassin who just has a mask on. You can't really see the rest of his face, but he just requires the name Grayson. Then Razagul says, "Ah, you'll remember it." Okay, and then of course, and I'm going to assume that's Jason Todd who just probably went through the Lazarus Pit. Which wiped out, you know, restored him back to life, but wiped his memory out. So he's slowly, apparently, remembering. So down the line, we'll probably see uh, the Red Hood. 
So that's what I'm assuming. Okay, and then of course they all go back to Happy Harbor, and uh, of course uh, the prince is apologizing for running off and being arrogant, but he's uh, he's saying basically I can't, you know, we can't stay here. I just can't do this. You know, maybe we should be a part of our, you know. You know, he apologizes, and then Dick says, hey, "You know what? Okay, that's what I want you. I just wanted to hear contrition from you that you that you realized, you know, what you did was wrong, and now you can be part of the team. Okay, and that's how it goes off like that. So these three episodes were nice. You know, you got a little advancement movement. You got Dick to finally commit uh, to the Young Justice team, which he was kind of hesitating on doing. Okay, and we also, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, Halo. They found out her real name." Okay, they dug up and they finally discovered her real name, uh, but she refers to go by Violet, <laughs> and and you see that she remembers a little bit more that she was actually sent from that rival country from Markova, that, that's sort of enemies. So she kind of plays out and tells them that she doesn't really remember. When she, you can see in her flashback that she does remember that she actually got sent there. Okay, so she's hiding that part of herself. Okay, so she that part she remembers, but but you know she's hiding it. So apparently it looks like she was on a secret mission. Okay, uh, to Markovia, uh, for maybe not less than honorable um, uh, intentions. Okay, and so that's how it ends. So I'm looking forward to. I think these three episodes are nice. Like I said, advanced story. You got uh, you got a new member, Forger. <laughs> okay, and now Halo remembers more of her past. Okay, and Prince Markovia knows that his sister now. He knows that Tara is alive. He doesn't know where she is, but he knows that she's alive. Okay, so. Advance the plot in a lot of different ways. Okay, so anyway, let me know what you think of Young Justice uh, Season 3, Episodes 4 to 6. What do you think of them? Uh, if you've seen them, feel free to leave comments down below. And if you'd like to review, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram in the description box, as well as a link to my other channel called Views and Opinions. Uh, please check this out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.